Trail Trekking Through Time A quick historical journey along the Five Pitch Trail Second stop, Pilsley As the Five Pitch Trail climbs gradually upwards for a few hundred yards from Tom Hullett's second memorial we come to a road crossing with a small car park on the left alongside the trail This is the Hardstoff Road Crossing at Pilsley once the road is crossed and we are once again back on the trail, we are entering the area where Pilsley Railway Station once stood. Opened on the 2nd of January 1893 by the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincoln Railway, the line ran from Bayton, a suburb of Sheffield, to Annesley in Nottingham. So this line would have continued along the route of the now Five Pits Trail towards Tipshelf and then continuing beyond the junction with the Silver Hill Trail and on along the Newton link of the Five Pitch Trail. The line would have passed by Blackwell, South Normanton and Benton Collieries on its way to Annesley. Pilsley Station finally closed on the 2nd of November 1959. The line itself lasted a further seven years until 1966 when it closed on the 5th of September. As we continue northwards along the Five Pits Trail, we soon come to an age reserve known as Waco Plantation. This is relatively new woodland planted on, believe it or not, the side of the spoil heaps of Pillsbury Colliery. The colliery itself was located just before this to the left of the trail. The first shafts of Pillsbury Colliery were sunk in 1864. Six shafts were sunk in total over the following decade. Mining operations began in 1866. By 1900, the pit was producing 1,200 tonnes per day with about 1,000 employees. A branch line of approximately 2.5 miles ran from the colliery to connect with the Midland Railway's Erewash Valley Line, just north of Dolly Station at Tibshelf. The colliery closed on the 27th of April 1957, and hardly any trace remains. However, Lock Oak Plantation on the former spoil heaps is a fine example of how redevelopment of wasteland can totally change the landscape for the better. As you descend down the slope of the trail from Lock Oak Plantation to the crossing of Lock Oak Lane, you will no doubt be aware of how steep this descent and the subsequent accent on the other side really are. Well once when the railway line was still in operation there stood a viaduct over the lane that carried the line, but this has long since been demolished. Not much information is available online about Pilsley Village itself, except that it was originally recorded as a borough within North Wingfield, and became a place in its own right long after. This gives the impression that Pilsley is a relatively new place by comparison to many others nearby. Next stop on our historical journey, Homewood.